I have done a lot of research about which paint to use for my tiles. And at Amazon, I found this. It says water-based technology, applies easily. Uh, the most important is uh, low odor. And there was like 59 reviews, mostly five stars on Amazon. And it's a kit. It comes with a tape with some, uh, I don't know. I think this is like a coverage on it. Comes with a roller, tape, and gloves. Oh, and then there's a sandpaper as well, but I already sanded my tiles. Oh, there's a brush as well. Oh, this is so soft. And then this is the paint. There's supposed to be two hardeners. Yes, part B. And then there's another part B and then it comes with a tape. So I paid about 50 something dollars for this paint. Um, it's supposed to do the job. And it says it covers two coats, 52, uh, 40 to 50 square feet. So it should be enough for my tiles. And it says surface preparation, clean the surface of dirt and oil, which I did it completely. And then it says add hardener, then paint. Clean up. Okay, it's time to read the instructions first and then prepare the paint. After reading the instructions, I am opening up the tape, the paint. Okay, it's not easy. There you go. And I'm supposed to be adding the hardeners. It says after you add the hardener, use it in 12 hours and now wait two hours in between coats. So it's gonna be a whole day project. So there's one and then there is the second lid. There you go. It is not actually filled all the way up. As you can see, there's like a, like a fifth of it is empty. And then, oh, I need that. Okay. And then I'm supposed to be adding the hardener. Oops. There you go. And then the second one. And then on the package, it says stir thoroughly, but at Amazon reviews, they said just stir, stir, stir. Especially the corner of the bucket. Just stir, stir, stir. It, ne it needs to be mixed up really, really well. I have mixed my paint really, really well, at least for five minutes. I've been stirring constantly to make sure that it's actually mixed well. 
because in one of the reviews, user said it started yellow after she painted it and it's starting dry. It turns into a yellow spots and the company claimed that she didn't actually mix it well. So I just wanna make sure that it's really, really, really mixed, especially around the edges of the, of the bucket. So I'm using a four inch foam. There you go. I'm using a four inch foam roller. This came as a kit and I'm gonna use the, the brush. It came with the kit. I also have some extra rolls right here um, in case I need it. So I think it's the moment. Let's start, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I never done this myself in my entire life, but hey, there's always, you know, uh, first thing of everything, right? First time of everything. All right, let's start. Okay, I got some paint on my tray. I'm gonna clean up my string. I also covered the paint with the second lid so it won't dry or make a film on top of that. So, it's time to start. All right, hopefully this camera will stay. Sorry, I'm doing it myself and I'm all alone. So, alrighty. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Let me put my protective glasses on. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to use the brush to cover the edges as well as the corners right here. have to work really quick because the paint gets thicker. Uh -huh. Let's see. sections and be quick
first coat of the paint is done it left some marks so I will wait two hours to put the second coat on and I'll see how it dries um, I got a hard time at the corners because the more I paint um, more it got closer to the corners the uh, edge of the roller actually made a mark so I'm gonna be very careful on the second coat so it's a very thin first coat the bucket is enough for the two coats maybe possibly even the third coat so we'll see we'll wait and see it's been two hours since I put the first coat on as you can see there are some marks so I will put the second coat on being more careful at the corners but um, it dries out not as shiny as I actually thought it would be but we'll see after the second coat it has been two more hours after I put the second coat I'm about to put a third coat there is um, some, some visible marks right here for example and then the grout lines I need to cover the grout lines because they do look ugly so here is a third coat third coat actually it's the fourth coat is done um, after I've done with the third coat I had a lot of paint left over and uh, you can use the paint after 12 hours and I'm gonna paint my floors as well but not at the moment so I actually put fourth coat onto my tiles overall it looks great I love it I just absolutely love it so I'm just going to leave for seven days. I went ahead and removed all the tape that I put on. And I'm just going to wait for seven days to, you know, uh, clean and start using the shower. I hope it will hold up because it looks beautiful. I love the paint. This is the next day video after 24 hours. Uh, I finished painting my tiles. They look great. Actually, they, are, they look amazing. Um, they do actually dry somewhat matte. Not as shiny as I hoped, but I like it this way. So, I'd say remodeling my bathroom part one is done. On to the second part, which is painting my sink as well as my vanity and removing my mirrors so see you at the part two it's been two months since i painted my tiles and they are holding up really really well i just love how um, clean and nice it looked and how it covered my old um, brown colorish tiles and the scratch test it works amazing. It's like a hard layer on top of the tiles. Of course, the preparation took me a while, but the painting was a breeze. The only, um, I'm not going to say it's a problem. It's my um, doing. Uh, the corners, I didn't do a good job painting at the corners, but you can't even notice it if you don't come too really close. Um, other than that, you know, it's really looking great. I love this paint. I really do. And I use the same paint on my floor tiles as well. It covers perfectly wonderfully. And then um, maybe you can, if you watch my main video, you can actually see it over there too. I had a problem with my tub and tile. And then I actually used several coats of drill paint right here on my uh, vanity sink as well. And I've been using my faucet, my water, and it's been holding up great. So overall, I'm going to give, well, actually, I already uh, wrote a review on Amazon. I gave it a five stars, and this is five star paint. I am so happy about it that I actually purchased another can 
I'm gonna uh, paint my other bathroom. So overall, thumbs up.